Hello, everyone, and welcome to this exclusive webinar with the University of Pech. Uh, today, we have uh, Ms. Angelica with us, joining us from Hungary, from the University of Pech. Uh, my name is Ratnesh. I am the senior manager at Ganberry, and I handle student recruitment. So before I hand over uh, to Ms. Angelica, let me just give you an idea about what we are going to, what you can expect in this webinar, rather. So I'm just going to share my screen. It should be visible in a few seconds from now. I'll give you that time. All right, so counting on three, two, one. I hope you're able to see it. So uh, this is an exclusive webinar, as I said, with the University of First, and Ms. Angelica will do the remaining part once she is online. Uh, till then, as far as Ganberry is concerned, we have been associated with the University of Pech for a good amount of time, and we have had a lot of students get admitted to the university in the past, and we are still assisting. Uh, we provide one-to-one -one personalized assistance and guidance for students who wish to enroll at the University of Pech. Uh, we provide absolutely free assistance. You do not have to pay anything to Ganberry as far as, far as let's say, consultation charges are concerned. You only have to pay the official application fee uh, to the university, whichever is mentioned on the website as it is. You also have opportunity to speak to senior students of the university. As, as, as we usually say, it, it's one-to-one -one mentoring with somebody who's already there, so they can share their experience with you and guide you before you reach there. And to help you prepare for the entrance exam for some of the courses at the University of Fetch, uh, we also offer exclusive online entrance exam preparatory material. So I'm sure if you uh, follow all this and you enroll with Ganberry for your admission to University of Fetch, we will definitely be able to improve your chances to get admitted into the university. As far as the agenda for the session is concerned, uh, we will be having a presentation uh, by Ms. Angelica about the university and its offerings. And then uh, we will have a Q&A session, uh, which might last for 20 to 25 minutes. So as you can see, uh, we have uh, uh, the agenda designed for that all of us uh, are getting as much information as possible in this one hour. We have already certain pre-submitted questions, which we will discuss at the end. And all of you are encouraged to write your questions in the Q&A section. As soon as the presentation is over, we will start taking questions in the order of their arrival. So that would be it from my end till the time we reach the Q&A session. And I will now hand it over to Ms. Angelica. Over to you. Thank you very much. Um, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Angelica Hajadish, and I am an international relations coordinator at the University of Page. And I wrote to you today a presentation about Hungary, about the city of Page, and the university itself. So in a second, I will share my screen with you uh, so I can show you uh, my presentation. Just in a second. Okay. I hope you can all see it right now. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So first of all, I would like to give you some uh, basic facts about uh, Hungary. Some of you maybe visited Hungary before. Some of you heard about Hungary first time. So our population is 9.9 million and we have a currency of foreign. Our official language is Hungarian. The capital is Budapest. And Hungary is one of the oldest countries in the heart of Europe, founded in 896. And also one of the 15 most popular tourist destinations in the world. Uh, we also has the highest number of thermal springs in the world and the country worldwide known of music festivals, sports and cultural events. Hungary also has a perfect location. We are uh, in heart of Europe, connected to many other countries. It's easy to travel from Hungary to Vienna, which is only 300 kilometers away, to Zagreb, 108 kilometers away, Krakow, 460 kilometers away, Berlin, 800 kilometers away. So it's quite a well-located country in a sense of connections to other countries. Uh, and we are a member of the European Union, the NATO, OECD, the Visegrad Group, and the Schengen Convention. So 
So you're all here to, uh, as you're interested in studying abroad and potentially studying in Hungary. So I also would like to tell you a little bit about our higher education system. Um, Hungary is a member of the European higher education area and we operate with the Bologna system, which basically means that we are offering programs in bachelor level, master degree level and doctoral level. We also have a program called Own Divided Master Degree, one tier master degree program, which basically a combination of the bachelor and the master degree. You start your program from the level of the bachelor degree and then you continue to up to the master's and finishing with the master degree. Um, yes, students are awarded for the models for the European credit. So uh, it's we are part uh, on operating with the European Credit Transfer System, also called ECTS. And the diploma that is issued by a Hungarian accredited higher education institution is recognized all over the European Union. So the diploma that you receive in Hungary would be also recognized, for example, in France or Germany. Um, the Hungarian Accreditation Committee monitors the quality of educational activity for compliance with the European standard and guidance. Therefore, you would receive a quality European degree from the University of Page. And I also would like to mention that uh, the university was established in 1367. So the university was founded uh, over 650 years ago. So uh, we have a long history and traditions at the university. Continuing with the education system, we are offering two types of classes, which is quite uh, general in, in Europe. So we have seminars and lectures. For seminars, we have a smaller class numbers and there is room for consultations, teamwork, discussions. Um, well, we also offering lectures, which uh, usually held in big auditoriums, uh, big lecture halls, and there are uh, many, many students around, and it's generally the lecture has a presentation and students take notes. Uh, the type of examinations are written tests, oral examinations, project work and essays. Uh, it very much depends on, uh, on the program that you take. As at the university, we offer um, over 70 programs in the English language. And each of the programs uh, has like different levels, different study fields. So some of them will have more essays. Some of them has like more uh, written tests. We also operate with a five point grade system. Um, the university grading looks uh, as well on this slide. You can see the five is excellent. It's equivalent to EB uh, if you're looking at the uh, English system. Or one is FEL, which is basically F. Um, the academic year is out of two semesters. We have a fall and the spring. Um, and uh, it basically takes like 10 months from September till June. So following uh, some facts about Hungary and uh, about the Hungarian higher education system, uh, I also would like to focus on the city of Pécs. The University of Pécs is located in the city of Pécs. Pécs is in our capital, but it is a very, very beautiful city of Hungary and the fifth biggest city of Hungary built on the slope of the hills of the Mecek mountain. So it has a beautiful environment uh, around Pitch. So if someone is outdoorsy and like nature and like you have some walks and hikes in nature, then uh, Pitch uh, provides the perfect location. On the other hand, because it is the fifth biggest city of Hungary, there is also lots of opportunity to going out, going to a theater, to cinema, pubs, bars, galleries, museums, restaurants, all sorts of things that you can do from Pitch. And Pitch also a student city, so it's catered for students as well. Also, the city of Pitch was the capital of uh, culture of Europe in 2010. The university is a multi campus institution, and the campuses and the, uh, the buildings of the University of Page is located all over in the city of Page. 
Um, we also have eight dormitories located in the residential area of Pitch. We have 28 own clinics and 10 faculties. Um, as I mentioned that we are a student city, we have uh, 20,000 students enrolled at the University of Pitch. And out of this, 20% of the students are international students uh, com uh, coming from 114 sending countries. So we have a very diverse and large uh, international student community at the University of Pitch, which we are very proud of. And uh, we have more than 30 years experience in international education. It means that we are delivering uh, classes in the English language over 30 years. University of Pitch, also one of the leading research in uh, university in Hungary. We have 2,000 lecturers, uh, over 1,000 international students receive stipendium Hungary scholarship, and currently almost 70 percent of partners engage in the program. And uh, back to the research, we have seven, we have a 7,700 square meter modern research space uh, with high tech labs at St. Agatha Research Center, uh, focusing on biotechnology, environmental technology, computer technology, and nanoscience. We also ranked among the top three Hungarian universities, and University of Pitch belongs to the leading 2.5% of international higher education institutions worldwide. Um, many of our programs receive also international accreditations. To give you some examples, a uh, business administration bachelor receives for EFM uh, the EPES uh, accreditation, or our, our architecture program receives European Commission accreditation, international relations master program receives a US Department of Veteran Affairs accreditation, or the General Medicine receives the Foundation of Advancement of International Medical Education and Research Medical Board of California accreditation. So after all these facts, I also would like to show you in the next slide uh, some images about the university's faculties. We have these beautiful buildings uh, of the University of Pitch all around in the city of Pitch. Um, we have the Faculty of Business and Economics, the Faculty of Cultural Science, Education and Regional Development, Faculty of Engineering and Information Technology, Faculty of Health Sciences, Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences, Faculty of Love, Faculty of Music and Visual Arts, Faculty of Sciences, Medical School and the Faculty of Pharmacy, as well as we have a sub-faculty called the International Study Center. Earlier, I mentioned uh, some facts about our, our uh, St. Agatha Research Center. Uh, I also would like to just uh, mention some research and development and projects. Um, for example, the biotechnology and healthcare industry, we have a research project in smart technologies, engineering science, electronic industries, environmental industries, 3D print center, clinic center, development of healthcare infrastructure, and at the St. Agatha Research Center, there is the Bioscience Center, Environmental Science Center, and Information Technology Center. So, um, as I mentioned earlier, University of Pitch, uh, one of the leading uh, research universities in Hungary. We also engage in international activities such as Erasmus Plus, Erasmus Plus International Credit Mobility, 75 bilateral agreements in four continents, study abroad program, university associations such as EDUC, and the Stipendium Hungary Scholarship Program. The next slide, I would like to show you some facts about the university's international community. So in 2005, we had 868 uh, international students studying at the University of Pitch. And this number increased year by year. And in 2020, we had uh, 4,529 international students enrolled to the university. So we have an increasing international student numbers and we are really pleased to having that many students coming from abroad, uh, bringing their uh, bringing more and wider diversity at the University of Page. Um, in, in, in this next slide, I would like to show you our top 10 sending countries. 
Uh, as I mentioned, we have students from 114 standing countries, but these are the countries that we have the most students from. So in the first one is Germany, then China, Iran, Norway, Turkey, Jordan, Egypt, Syria, Nigeria, and Pakistan. So um, on this side, I would like to uh, highlight that we have still some programs open for application in the spring intake. So applications is open for, uh, for maybe in social work and the master in social policy and master in social work. Uh, the deadline is the 10th of December. These, are, these programs are offered by the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences. So if you are still interested to apply for uh, programs for the 2021-22 academic year spring semester, then these programs are open for application. And our International Studies Center also offering programs uh, with the deadline of the 30th of November for the preparatory courses in English for uh, degree studies. As well as we have an engineering and assistant and life pilot uh, program by the Faculty of Engineering and Information Technology with the deadline of uh, 15th of January 2022. So for, uh, for the applications, we generally asking for a certificate of your previous studies. Uh, we, we would like to see an upper uh, secondary high school certificate that a diploma or equivalent to uh, international bachelorette or uh, A-level, AES level. If you wish to apply for a master program, then we'd like to see your bachelor degree, or if you're interested to do, apply for a doctoral program, then we would like to see your master degree certificate. Um, we also would like to uh, have a transcript of previous studies or academic records and specific entry requirements for some of our subjects, such as uh, for engineering, we also ask you to have uh, uh, completed subjects in maths. Um, medical courses uh, for general medicine, dentistry and pharmacy, we have entrance examinations or uh, we can also accept BMAT. If the applicant previous education was not had in English or English is not the other tongue of the applicant, we also need a proof of uh, language proficiency. And these applications has to be sent through uh, on our uh, online application system. Uh, to the University of Page directly. For non-medical program, it is the www.apply.pta.hu and for medical programs, it is the www.admission.medicalschool.pt.hu. For international degree programs, um, we have a range of fees. It depends on the program uh, that you, you choose based on study levels and the uh, study fields. So, for example, for a bachelor level, it can range from starting with 1,800 euro to up to 4,000 euro per semester, and it depends on the study program that you choose. Um, for a master program, it is 2,200 euro to up to 5,500 euro per semester. For a medical program, it is 4,700 euro to up to 7,900 euro per semester. And for preparatory courses, it is 4,200 euro to up to 9,300 euro per program. For the preparatory courses, there is a three length of the program, five months, 10 months, and 15 months. And for the bachelor, master, and medical programs, there are, there are two semesters in each academic year. And the other uh, cost that occurs when someone studying abroad, of course, is the living cost and the, and the accommodation. Our average living cost is uh, 450 euro per month. And for example, a dormitory placement for every international freshman is 140 uh, euro per month. And if you're interested to rather have a fully furnished rented flat for two person from uh, 400 euro, including with utilities. And these prices are quite competitive across Europe. 
but we also uh, participate in the Stipendium Hungarikum Scholarship Program, which is a full scholarship. Uh, provisions covered by the scholarships are tuition free, monthly stipend, accommodation, and medical insurance. But please be aware that this uh, scholarship uh, are depend on your citizenship, and applicants are eligible to apply for those scholarship ties and study fields that are determined in the educational cooperation program in effect between Hungary and the specific sending partner. The list of eligible study fields can be found on the website of the Stipendium Hungarian Scholarship Program. So you need to check if your citizenship uh, is also uh, eligible to apply for the Stipendium Hungarian Scholarship Program. The deadline of the application for Stipendium Hungarian Scholarship is the 15th of January and the application is currently open for the 2022 and 23 academic year. Uh, now I would like to move forward uh, to tell you a little bit about our uh, student services. Uh, at the university, we are aware that uh, outside of your studies, you would like to have a great uh, student life and studying experience. And we also would like to make sure that you feel supported while you're studying at the University of Page and you feeling well while you're studying in Page. So we are offering services such as student counseling, uh, the service is intended to offer counseling to students enrolled in the English language program and seek to the professional assistance to uh, students struggling with uh, the tour of challenges in personal lifestyle and studies. And we also uh, have a buddy network project which was launched in 2015 and these Buddies Network is how, give a hand to international student assistance in the integration into the university environment and help with practical matters such as applying for residence permit or finding accommodation. So basically you wouldn't be on your own. Uh, the university would provide you some support through the student counseling and personal mentors. We also have a vibrant student life and uh, between our international student community, we have an international uh, student ambassador uh, team and these teams are uh, also able to have a chat about student life and the current students and act as a link between the university and the outside community. And they generally like to share their student experience with, uh, with prospective students as well. Uh, they will, uh, we have like some new students who join our international student ambassador team and they soon will be able to having chat with them as well through our website and they will uh, receive new email addresses to be able to uh, contact with uh, students. Um, these international students also gain many uh, skills and uh, competences while they are um, uh, being part of this international community and soft skills, presentation skills, interpersonal skills, communication. So uh, there is, this is a great opportunity for students to both enjoy student life and also gain new skills. And then, uh, Continue with the student services. We have sport facilities at the university, uh, and the and then as, you know, students can pursue a lot of sports by studying at the university. Besides, uh, they are free to use various sport facilities such as indoor and outdoor swimming pool, gym, and sport hall. Uh, we also have a unique initiative: the Dancing University. Student can enroll to. Uh, the um, dance courses uh, for free of charge. And one of the big questions when you're thinking uh, about going to university itself, the, the employment. So I think this is a quite great fact about the university that 95.5% of our respondents found a job immediately after graduation or within a couple of weeks. Uh, according to the graduate career track in 2018 and graduates can apply to study to work residence permit after the graduation if they find a job or start a business on their own in Hungary. Every foreign student receiving a degree from a Hungarian university or college or any other higher education institution is eligible for the study to work visa. 
The next uh, page uh, or slide uh, I would like to highlight that if you're interested to apply for our programs or uh, to the University of Page, Giambri is our official representative, so you can see their contact details just on the slide. So please feel free to contact them if you're interested to learn more about the University of Page. Or you are also welcome to contact us directly and visit our website at www.internationalpta.hu or join us on our Facebook, Study in Page Hungary. We have live webinars on our Facebook page or follow us on Instagram at Study in Page Hungary. We have Instagram takeovers where our international student ambassadors take over our Instagram account and taking photos of their favorite places of page and they're just sharing the student life experience there. Or if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email us to international at pta.hu. So thank you very much for uh, listening to my uh, presentation. Uh... Thanks a lot, Ms. Angelica, for joining the session today. It was really a pleasure having you uh, with all our students. And we really look forward to helping more and more students know more about the University of Fetch. Maybe would you like to end the session uh, by informing something to the students? Uh, thank you very much, uh, for everyone, for being here and listening to our presentation about the University of Page. I hope that you learned a lot about our university and it seems quite interesting uh, for you. Um, if you would like to learn more about us or specific programs, or if you would like to receive further information on the specific questions to the medical school, please uh, get in touch with uh, Giambari or with us directly to the University of Page as you feel comfortable. Um, again, thank you for being here and have a nice evening for everyone. Thanks a lot, Ms. Angelica. Have a nice day. And all of you, thanks a lot for joining in. We are ending the webinar now. Thanks a lot for your participation. Have a great evening, all of you. Thanks a lot.